What's going on guys, Bengal again here today coming back at you with another quiz video and this is the NFL first round quarterbacks quiz and it was linked to me or actually not even it was tweeted at me dude said quiz and then just screenshotted it like that helps me out I'm like that's not a link and he's like here, okay here you happy you stupid bitch is that better I'm like okay relax uh, he didn't say any of that but he did I'm like why would you screenshot it here's the quiz I'm doing <laughs> link it it's the whole point but yeah follow me on Twitter at Bengal designs um, and put quiz somewhere with the link at Bengal designs and I will be open to doing your quiz this one is the first round quarterback since 1983 uh, title of this video is just all first round quarterback something to that degree there are a lot of them here's my issue with the quiz so far is that I have to get 93 in eight minutes the quiz, as always, is linked down in the description below. Uh, so you can take the quiz as you're doing it before you watch the video, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and again, follow me on Twitter. Eight minutes to get 93. Too few minutes. Give me 10. I mean, eight's too little, but we're going to try and fly through this. Um, this one actually could be pretty tough because when you have to think about players drafted in the first round, there are a lot of busts that happened every year so not only is it players who were good in the league we have to figure out who were the busts were as well thankfully some of those are notorious uh and good college players if not great college players as well but all right 93 to get in eight minutes we're gonna start from uh 2020 packers i'm gonna try to fly through a little bit so we're gonna start with jordan love chargers is justin herbert i know i'm gonna blank on some of these names of course so try to uh cut me some slack to a Tongue of Iloa, Bengals is Burrow, Redskins, Haskins, Jones, Murray, Jackson, Rosen, Allen, Darnold, Mayfield, Watson, Mahomes, Trubisky, Broncos in 2016 is Paxton Lynch. Let's get Carson Wentz. Rams in 2016 is Jared Goff. I did a scoff. Jared Goff, Marcus Mariota, Jameis Winston, Minnesota Vikings in 2014 is Teddy Bridgewater. Browns is Johnny Manziel. Jaguars is Blake Robbie Bortles, or Robbie Blake Bortles, excuse me. Bills, EJ Manuel. Browns in 2012 is Brandon Whedon. Dolphins is Ryan Tannehill. Redskins in 2012 is RG Nee. Colts is Andrew Luck. Vikings, Christian Ponder. Uh, Blaine Gabbert. Not Jimmy Clausen. Why am I thinking Jimmy Clausen? Jake Locker. Jimmy Clausen wasn't even a first-round pick, and he was on the Panthers. 2011 Panthers is Cam Newton. Uh, Broncos is... 2010 Broncos. Tim Tebow. Rams. Sam Bradford. Bucks is going to be... Oh, who do they have? Not Josh Johnson. Josh Freeman. I don't know why I typed the full name. Uh, Jets is Mark Sanchez. Lions is Matt Stafford. Ravens, Joe Flacco. Matt Ryan. Brady Quinn, Jamarcus Russell, great year for the quarterback, 2007 it was. Broncos in 06 is smoking Jay Cutler, Matt Leinart. Titans in 06 is my favorite college player ever, Vince Young, Hook'em Horns. Redskins in 05 is Jason Campbell, Aaron Rodgers, Alex Smith. We also get Achilles Smith for the Bengals. That one could have been tough, but I watched the quarterback challenge video with him on NFL Throwback. Uh, probably like maybe even a year ago at this point, honestly. So I guess that's kind of memorable for me still. Buffalo Bills in 04 is... J.P. Losman? Yes. Steelers, Big Ben, Roethlisberger, Eli Manning. Let's get, we also get Peyton Manning. Phillip Rivers, Bears is going to be Rex Grossman. He was so awful, I remember. Um, but he was also in the Super Bowl one year. So that shows you that sometimes the quarterback doesn't matter. Baltimore Ravens is going to be Kyle Bowler. Jags in 03, David Garrard. No, Byron Leftwich. Ah, I, see, I knew that. I don't know why I, I guess Garrard. That was stupid. Bengals in 03 is going to be Carson Palmer. Redskins in 02. Redskins in 2002. I don't know. Um, Lions in 2002 is going to be Joey Harrington. Texans, David Carr. Falcons is Michael Vick. Jets in 2000, Chad Pennington. It definitely Chad Penning. I just misspelled it. Bears in 1999. Dude, I, I totally know who that is. Uh, that's Cade McNown. Yes. Minnesota Vikings, Dante Culpepper. Philadelphia Eagles in 1999, Donovan McNabb. Browns going to be Tim Couch. Chargers, Ryan Leaf. Those are two busts back-to-back -back that are terrible. Niners in 97. The only name that's popping into my head right now is Jeff Garcia, and I know that's not correct. 
I'm gonna type it in anyway. Just I, I know it's not. Uh, we're gonna move on. Panther Steve Burline. Not Steve Burline. I definitely spelled that correctly too. It's not Mark Brunel. It's not Jake Delome. I just don't know. Oilers. That was right before they became the Titans. So that's gonna be Steve McNair. Bucks in 94 is Trent Dilfer. Redskins is Heath Schuler. I have, like, I think his rookie card, or I used to back in the day. He went to Tennessee. Seahawks is going to be Dave Craig. Oh, you know, it's going to be Rick Mirror. My bad. Patriots in 93. Drew Bledsoe. Broncos in 92. I don't know, because that's, like, way after Elway. Elway's 83, and he's the Colts. He's going to be the top one on the list. Bengals in 92. I don't know. Raiders in 91. It's not Rich Gannon because he went there later. And I'm going to type it anyway. I, maybe I was going to get something else. Sometimes you got to get lucky. Um, Colts in 1990s. Jeff George. Lions in 1990. Seahawks. I, I already said Craig. I don't know. Raider, I, ah, geez, Los Angeles Raiders too. It looks so odd. I don't know. Cowboys in 89 is going to be Troy Aikman. Bears in 87. Not Jim McMahon. Bears in 87 is going to be... Um, that's going to be Jim Harbaugh before he got traded to the Colts. Falcons 87. Ugh, I don't know. Cardinals at Neil Lomax? No. Is it... I feel like Jake Plummer was on the Broncos. Oh, was he, was he on the Broncos before or after the Cardinals? I don't know. That one's weird for me right now. Bucks is going to be Vinny Testaverde, a.k.a on every sporkle, sporkle quiz ever. Lions, I have no idea. Oilers. Ooh, I bet the, I bet some of the Todds are going to be on here, like Blankenship and Marinovich. I don't know who they would be, though. Let's get Dan Marino. Let's get Ken O'Brien. Let's get... Buffalo Bills is Jim Kelly. And the Colts is John Elway. I remember the two of the Todd. I'm going to get Marinovich. He was with the Raiders. And then I think, what, Blankenship is the other? Ah, his name's not Blank. Todd, it's close, though. Todd something. I always remember him and Marinovich. Oh, you know who else is going to be on here? Um, is Jim Everett. With the Oilers, really. He went to the uh, he went to the Rams later. I, that's where I remember him most. Was Mark Rippon on this list? I don't see the Redskins. I don't think he was a first-round pick either. Um, hmm, we got 81 and 93. That's doing pretty well. Todd Blackledge, not Blankenship. I was thinking of Rodrigo Blankenship. It's Todd Blackledge. He was the Chiefs in 83. I'm trying to remember the entire 83 gla uh, draft class. That's like such a memorable class. I got to come up with the Patriots one. I just don't think I'm going to. I got to be able to get more than this. Who's the Redskins in 2002? He didn't last long. Because they drafted Jason Campbell in 2005 in the first round. Oh, who is it? I got complete right side, complete left side, except for 2002 Redskins. And then most of the left side. I mean, we've crushed this. I'm, I wish the Panthers were Steve Burline, man. I feel like... I think he led the league in passing in 1999 with the Panthers, though. Ooh, it's not Kerry Collins. He went there later. I'm going to type it anyway. It is Kerry Collins. No. Oh, my goodness. I'm, well, I'm happy I got it. But uh, I thought he went there later. I know he's on the Giants later. Was he drafted by the Panthers? I guess so. Damn, I'm actually super shocked they got that one. Um, I wish I could get the Seahawks in the 90s. They were just like a revolving door of drafting QBs. Like, I remember Dave Craig... We got Rick Mirror. There have to be more that were successful with other teams that I just can't remember. We have five seconds, though. Five seconds now. Uh, I'm just not going to get any more. I know I'm going to miss some obvious ones. I got to get that other 83. I just can't do it. Tony Eason. Eh. Oh, okay. So here's who I miss. We missed Patrick Ramsey. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to remember him. Extremely forgettable player. I got 89%, so very, very good. I missed Jim Druckenmiller with the 49ers. Never going to get him. Tommy Maddox is an extremely gettable player. I just never associate him with the Broncos. 
never associate him with the Broncos at all. The same way that you wouldn't really associate, um, I don't know who's on here. Like, I guess Jeff George with the Lions, but you really wouldn't with Jim Harbaugh and the Bears. He's more of a cult to me. But I miss David uh, Klingler. I've never heard of him. Dan McGuire with the Seahawks. I've never heard of him. Andre Ware. Like, he was a really, really good college player. He couldn't have been in the NFL for more than a few years. Chris Miller and Kelly Stauffer. Stauffer for the Falcons and Cardinals. I don't know who they are. Chuck Long with the Lions. Tony Eason is the only other gettable one on this list. Other than Tommy Maddox and Andre Ware for me. Just because of how like notable that 83 class was. I can't believe I was thinking Todd Blankenship. I think like, I'm like, what the hell? But we got Todd Blackledge. That was really good. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with how I did on this. The fact that I was able to get Kerry Collins too. That was the get of the video for me. Because I just didn't think he was an option for that. And I don't know why I didn't. Because I know he was there. But yeah, we, we crushed it, man. Uh, extremely happy with how I did. Let me know how you did down in the comment section below. I feel like the only way you could beat me is if you get Tony Eason. I think 84 out of 93 is pretty much the best you could do. Maybe 85 if you got Tommy Maddox or Patrick Ramsey. That was, that was tough, though. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.